we're headed out to get comfortable with Mexican tarragon. It happens to live out in the bee garden right in front of the new beehive. Can you see it from here? Take a moment and note everything you see in here. This is the larger area of the Mexican tarragon's ecosystem. In a moment, we'll start to move closer. When we do, I want you to take note of other plants, animals, insects, or anything else you see or hear. When standing here, we can see a closer view of where Mexican tarragon lives. Today, it's Memorial Day weekend, Sunday. It's a hot day, and this area happens to be shaded at this point during the day. Listen for a moment. What do you hear? What do you see? Are there other plants near the Mexican tarragon? Is it touching anything with its roots or its leaves that you can see? What kind of light might it get in here, and why? How might the water flow through here when it rains or when it's watered? Is it protected from the winds? What animals or insects might live around here? Now we are right here on top of the Mexican tarragon. Take a moment and really look at the whole plant and notice every little detail you can. I'll try to move around a little bit so that you can get a little bit closer. Not necessarily closer, but better idea. It was standing up a few days ago, but now it's laying over. Let's zoom in some more down to that stem. Now let's take a few minutes to just concentrate on the stem and what the stem looks like. Is it woody? Is it round? Is it square? Is it flexible? Does it look soft? Does it have a lot of stems? Just a few stems? I'll take a moment and zoom in even closer so that you can see if there's any grooves or any notches or thorns or anything of that sort on this stem. Know anything you can about this stem. Here in just a second, we're gonna zoom out and look at the leaf arrangement. Zoom back out here. Okay. Now let's look at the leaves and how the leaves are arranged off the stem. Are there only leaves at the top of the stem, bottom of the stem, all throughout the stem? Did the leaves alternate or all clump together? What color are the leaves? Can you t tell if there's any animals or insects that have been through here by looking at these leaves? Now we're going to zoom in on just one leaf. Okay, now we're zoomed in on the leaves. I didn't let you guys see the zoom in because it's very hard to get this to focus here. But take a note of the leaves. In the edge of the leaves, do you see, are they sawtooth, jagged, smooth? Are there deep veins or valleys? What color are they? What shape are they? How might these leaves feel? How might they smell? Note everything you can about the leaves. Their shape, their veins. Most of the spotting that you're seeing on these leaves have to do with sun spotting since we've been getting rains and then hot weather. I'll see if I can't find another leaf here for you. That's a little nicer. Let's see, see if we can come out to these guys. Now 
Now let's look at the flower arrangement. They are out, if you, you zoom back here, the flowers are way out here. Let's see if I can get around the edges of this, just let you see it a little bit. It's a little difficult. Let's zoom back out. For comparison, they, this is teeny tiny. Let me see if I can get my hand in there without messing it up. These are very small. In case you're wondering why I'm having such a hard time filming this. <laughs> okay, so take a note of how they're arranged on the stem. Are they in little bunches? Is there just one? How are they arranged on that stem? Now let's look at the flowers themselves. How many petals does each flower have? How many stamens? What do the petals look like? What color are they? Note anything and everything you can about the flowers of the Mexican tarragon. We're going to zoom out again and look at this whole plant again. And I want you just to pick one spot on the Mexican tarragon to just concentrate all of your thoughts on and let your mind just drift. Thinking about what can you do for a Mexican tarragon? What can it do for you? If you closed your eyes, slowly open them and bring yourself back to your surroundings and take one more good look at the Mexican tarragon. Now we're going to draw this plant from memory. You can either do this in your mind or on a piece of paper. Draw from the ground up, noting every detail you can remember from the stem, to the leaves, to the flowers, how the whole plant's arranged. Make note of everything you can remember. If you've forgotten something or you can't remember a detail, don't worry, you can always come back and fill it in later. I'll give you a few seconds of silence to go ahead and continue. If you need more time, pause the video now. Okay, now look back at the Mexican tarragon plant and fill in any of those details that you might have missed. Feel free to rewind this video as many times as you need until you feel comfortable with Mexican tarragon. I highly recommend doing this with the plants in your yard. And that concludes our Get Comfortable with Mexican Tarragon. Till next time, take care.